I'm gonna say that I'm at the top of the list of the eccentric crazy cat ladies. I like cats because they're independent, they're beautiful, they are just graceful, and I enjoy watching them. I have taken in and lived with 28,000 cats. That's probably a record. The Cat House on the Kings is California's largest no-cage sanctuary for feral and abandoned cats. Founded by Linnea Latanzio in her home, the sanctuary currently houses around 800 adult cats and 300 kittens, and the sheer numbers have forced Linnea to move out of the main house. This is my boy. There wasn't room for me anymore. I ended up with 60-some cat cats in my bedroom with dogs, and I just said, that's it, and I moved out. We had a rental on the property, and I moved to that rental. I went from a 4,200 square foot, five bedroom home with a pool and a wet bar and a view of the river to a 1,600, 1,800 square foot mobile home with a view of a rusty metal shed. I've come up in the world. This is my uh, cat free zone, ha ha. In 1992, Linnea's father had asked her to help him find some new cats. She went to an animal shelter and brought home 15 kittens. By the end of the year, she'd rescued and rehomed 96 cats. It was then that she realized she'd found her calling. When I first started this um, endeavor, I was out of my own pocket for seven years. I spent my retirement, I sold my car, I sold my wedding ring. He is so fat. In 1993, she became a veterinary technician to help keep the animals' medical costs down and the number of cats continue to grow. The sanctuary is now so big that Linnea has staff and a team of volunteers to help run it. Currently for food, litter, maintenance, uh, staffing, vet, medical, we're at 1.6 million US dollars a year. We come in about four o'clock in the morning um, and you know we start by feeding it usually takes us like maybe like 30, 30 minutes to an hour to feed everyone. When I first started here I wasn't really a cat person but after that you know you work with them five days a week and you get attached to them. Man. Everybody has different characteristics and you get to know them and they get to know you. They kind of wait for you while you walk in the gate. And it's pretty cool man. This is our ICU. We have a hospital, an ICU, a kitten quarantine, a senior quarantine. Uh, but that is where our critically ill cats stay. We have a vet that comes once a week to check our animals. We take animals into him every day for a check and we have seven vet techs on staff. When a generous donor left Linnea her estate in 2004, the profits from the sale allowed her to buy the neighboring land and expand the grounds to 12 acres and install cat-proof fencing around the perimeter, meaning all the cats could roam freely. See, under the trees, all those cats over there. And then there's one on the straw. Uh, there's, that's their feeding station and their bedding and their heater back there. But see, there's a cat over there. As much as Linnea loves the cats, her aim is to find them new homes, not to keep them for herself. If you are interested in adopting, you would go to our website and fill out the adoption form. There's 500 up for adoption that are friendly and ready to go. <coughs> I must be allergic to cats. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs>